What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Victory Gaming Network. Okay, so today I'm going to be reviewing Saints Row 4. Um, this game had a few good things about it, but a lot of bad things. Now, first off, I'm going to get into the things that I think Volition did right with Saints Row 4. So, first off, the music, the soundtrack is really expertly picked. Um, however, a lot of the songs that were in the game that I thought were actually pretty decent for the, and fit the game really well were a lot of rap and hip-hop songs. However, I'm not a big fan of rap and hip-hop. Um, but there was still a good soundtrack. It really fit the game and the style of the game. Um, it, there were throwback songs that would play at just the right point in time. Um, the voice acting was really good. Um, and the main protagonist, which is Zinyak, who's the villain, was... He came off a little stereotypical at first, um, but there were times where he was actually really funny. Um, I really liked the, really liked him. He kind of grew on me a little bit. Now let's get into the things that I didn't like. So, I've watched a few reviews. A lot of people really like the whole fact that you can have superpowers and everything. I'm going to be in the minority here and say that I did not like that. The reasons for that... I thought the superpowers made the game too easy. Uh, it made it a breeze. Um, you, simply because, you know, there was no, no, you know, there was, it may, eliminated the reason for owning any kind of transportation like a car or a boat or a plane because you could just super sprint anywhere and you could just jump like super ultra high and go anywhere you wanted to just as fast, if not faster than you could in a, in trans, with transportation. Which was kind of disappointing because they deepened they they deepened so much of the car car customization they added so much new stuff into that and it was kind of pointless because you could just super sprint or super jump anywhere you and go anywhere you wanted to faster than you know like I said faster than you could if you were in a car so it kind of made that a big disappointment and I thought it made the combat really way too easy you could basically one hit the enemies just by super sprinting towards them and pressing the right trigger um, and pre pretty much just sink one shot them you know every single time it made the gameplay super super too easy um, and you know I so like I said I'm gonna be in the minority there but I did not like the superpowers um, another thing um, the game had a lot of glitches um, it made the game very frustrating to play sometimes because the glitches would just come up out of nowhere um there would be drops in the frame rate um there was times where there was a time there where i had to actually i went on the load screen this was out right after the battle with the robot it would come back to the load screen and the the frame rate would just drop completely and it would just sit on the loading screen but not load it would just sit there so there were several times where i had to turn off my system and turn it back on just to continue playing the game. It was really frustrating, very, very aggravating, and it got really old really quick. Um, the game, the, now, you know, one thing, one more thing they did get right, um, at least in my opinion, um, was all these different side quests and all these different collectibles, all that kind of stuff that you can, that you can kind of collect as you go along. Throughout the game, I actually there were actually times where I was easily able to overlook all the bad parts of the game, simply because of how much of the so many of the side quests and the collectibles and all that that you could collect. Um, and another thing I hated about the game, they recycled bosses from Saints Row 2 and Saints Row 3. There could have been so much room for new bosses in Saints Row 4, but for some reason, Volition thought it was a good idea to replace to recycle them from Saints Row 2 and 3. That was a big disappointment for me. I was really hoping to see new bosses. So, that was a big disappointment. Anyway, at the end of this video, basically what I'm, sa what I'm saying in this video is, if you don't own Saints Row 3 or Saints Row 4, you're not missing out on anything. Stick with Saints Row 1 and 2. They're more serious. Um, after Saints Row 3 came out, it was kind of a shitty attempt at a comedy. 
and it's just really old. It gets really old with just crappy sex jokes and just over the top nonsense. So anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this game. Be sure to hit thumbs up, subscribe. Um, thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.